Good morning, babe. Good morning. You're making the coffee? Making the coffee. And what kind of coffee is this? Organic kicking horse coffee that I get through Amazon. Uh, we have to make sure we have mold free coffee. I'm allergic to mold terribly, and then it's just better for all our health. So, we did do bulletproof coffee for a while, uh, but I found this other company that also checks for mold to make sure their coffee is mycotoxin and mold free. So Kicking Horse, it's on Amazon. And what all do you put in there? Uh, to make it easier on myself on the weekends, I just make one huge pot for the whole family. So I start off putting everything that Kip, behind the camera, has in his coffee. And then I add in some other things for the children and I. And it's a very diluted coffee. <laughs> So this currently has And yes folks, if you're wondering, butter does eat grass. <laughs> the cow <laughs> that makes the butter or that gives the cream. <laughs> yes, and cows make butter. <laughs> <laughs> this stuff. <laughs> This is the protein, collagen protein that we use, also from Amazon. By the way, if you want to support us for free, you can click on a link from down below in the show notes and purchase anything through that link and it helps us get a little bit from Amazon. No extra charge to you, but they give us a commission. So. All right, we'll take a chance here. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. Haven't even looked at myself yet. So good morning. Just wanted to show you the man behind the camera. What he looks like first thing rolling out of bed. I wake up and one of the first thoughts I have is I wonder how today's gonna go. And then I think, coffee. <laughs> Those are pretty much my first two thoughts. And one of these days we'll do a full process of how Carrie puts all that stuff together in the coffee. For those of you that are curious. Good morning, Nanny Bug. Good morning, Daddy. You like getting up and standing next to the fire? Yeah. Mommy's frying some eggs. Mm -hmm. And she's got some, what would you call the uh, bread stuff in the oven? It's a grain-free flatbread. Looks like you like that egg, huh, Critter? Yeah. Eat it all up. I got a couple bites left. Scooter, you're just about done with yours, huh? Mm-hmm. Do you doctor your egg up a little bit? Yep. What'd you put on it? A little bit of black pepper and salt. Uh-oh, Biddle's got the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Biddle's got the camera, oh no. Good morning, Biddle. Is that an extra pie I see there? Good morning, honey. Good morning, extra pie. Mmm, love you. Hey guys, Kip here at Thousands of Roots, and today we're going to be working on Mission Impossible once again. Fencing for the garden. We're going to do a lot of deconstruction today. We're going to take it down a tree part way taking all this fencing down, all these posts out, um, and we might leave this open. Our goal is to leave this open so when we do the dirt work, go ahead and show over there, we can use all these rock for filler around the root cellar. We sharpened the uh, two axes with these uh, grinding stones that we were given, they were, they're hand crank grinding stones, so that's pretty cool. They, they worked pretty well. We were have to work together as a team, but they worked pretty well.
Okay? It's bent a little, but it looks okay. Good. Doesn't look like it's cracked or anything. It's this one right here, guys. <clears throat> oh, see that one. Yeah, it looks all right. No cracks. Scooter, the cage scooter. protected it. <laughs> What'd you think of that, buddy? Good. And I two foot tied it. Cool. Now we're gonna try. To, we're gonna take this apart now. All right, I think we got this all loose here. Yep. So now we just need to get the pallet free. All right, we got this one loose now. Gotta be a little careful because this is a gooseberry here. All right, good. Okay, we need to get this out of the way because this is going to be our new pathway through here. We're going to make the garden. The post for the garden is going to be here and it's going to go right that way. And then the fence is going to come right along here. So that this cherry tree is inside the garden. 
but that plum and the elderberry will be outside of the garden. So now we should move this, boys. We need to move this thing out of here. All right, guys, I'm gonna call it a day on that. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. We are moving forward here on the homestead. And it's so cool to see my boys over here inspired to do work, fun work stuff. I would have to say Texas boys were a big inspiration to the Smith boys. So thanks, Texas boys. All right, whatever you do, do with your whole heart. Since my lovely live wife got the patio cleaned off a bit, this swing can be back into use. And I would say it'll biddle kind of likes it.